Hello, my name is Dakeitha Stamps, and I'm rocking with Speak Your Peace TV. This is Mr. D. Measy, and I'm rocking with Speak Your Peace TV. You ever see that stuff to be when it be cold, the ice that you can't see? Well, every proper community must have festivals to celebrate the beauty of themselves. So right. throughout the year, we must always take time out to fellowship in a collective way so that we can do more than just the negative things. We gotta show each other love and being part of positive events like this. This is a doggone dish and festival with Mr. Randy Wildman Brown and Miss Wild. So they get this together every year to show the community that there are other ways to, to associate with each other, to fellowship with each other, and to build families and communities. Oh, it just fits into a larger program that we have in Jackson. Every weekend, every other weekend, we got something going on. So this allows these youth to go have a good time, be children. Not just play in the front yard, they can run all over the place, make friends, and have a good time. So that's what the youth uh, get from this event. Okay. I'm out here drinking water in this hot 112 degree heat with this humidity just as high as I don't know what. I'm looking at pretty women, 50 years old, walking around looking sexified with their toes all out. I'm looking at the, the washer thing, not the washer thing, I call it the washer thing because some of these kids are getting their bath. But the uh, water thing, man, normally they have it on the side. And, and one of them years I went foolishly and tried to wash these children. And these children is bad, man, especially when their parents ain't watching them. They bad. But this year now they've got to set up where all the people can watch all the children. And so, so when we talk about what can we do that's better, it's what Randy Wildman Brown is doing. Right. It's what Miss Wild is doing. It's what they doing together, not, not apart. And they go around the city and they get the sponsors to come on in. They print up the t-shirts. They get the information out over WNPR radio and other stations. And the next thing you know, people come together. They have this street festival. It's in the middle of the hood. It gives that hope, that sense of rejuvenation, that spirit of belonging, of togetherness, all in one. The same way you do this is the same way you got to do in politics. You got to go on out there, have a central message, a central theme, be consistent, go out and get your sponsor, get your donors, get your t-shirts out, get your flyers going, make sure you got you some water, and it's 112 degree weather. Well, a unifying vision. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the one thing that you can put, put your finger on and say, for one time, Jackson was unified. Right. Through right. a process of about six or seven months, that was the most unified Jackson had been in a long time. All different colors, ideologies, philosophies coming right. together for a central purpose of making the city better. In that short period of time, think of any, I don't know any politician in our lifetime who could raise taxes, raise water sewer rates, and the people kind of run around and 90% of them vote for a 1% sales tax right. on themselves right. because they believe in the process that they were involved in and they had great hope for the future. And if we can get back, well, when we get back to that, we will make Jackson and America finally great. Yeah, uh, well, first of all, you see my shirt, right? Right, right, all right, right. So, right. you know, uh, Malcolm X is the Morpheus to my Neo. And uh, Shokwe Lumumba uh, was the mayor for the people, but before that, he was the people's attorney. Right. And Shokwe Lumumba, pre-mayor, had a more distinguished career that post-mayor. Right, right. But most people didn't know him around here in that way. And tell, tell him how he influenced hip-hop in such uh, a uh, major right, way. Right, right, See, he embraced it from the beginning. He never, ever rejected hip-hop artists. He never, now, he never was for the misogyny and calling the women out their name. He wasn't for that. He was a father and a grandfather, so he right, wasn't for right. that, all right? But what he was for was protecting young artists, like Tupac, for instance. You know, he defended Tupac. That's and, what I was getting at. And he also with. counseled, he didn't just defend him, like, I'm gonna be your attorney. You pay me money, I'm gonna be your attorney. No, he defended the genre of hip hop in terms of the creativity for the message it would bring, because he knew about the COINTELPRO plans, because he had defended so many political prisons. He knew Matulu Shakur, because he had defended so many political prisons. Right. He was brought into the movement to be 
a lawyer, not because he was smart, because they said, since you're smart, you got to go to school and defend our people. Right. So he was a warrior for the people. He was bigger than the office, and that's why he had 10 different memorials in eight different cities. So when we talk about the Shogway Lamuma and the legacy that he left, Mr. Stamps was absolutely right. See, Mr. Stamps was in office at the time. And right. at the time, everything the Shogway Lamuma said was not necessarily agreeable for every member that was in office. So just because he was struck by the moment, they wasn't going to just say yes, because everything he said was not conventional. Right. All right. He was pushing for a larger vision, something greater than what we currently had and what we had then. And that's why it's almost impossible to step in the shoes like that. I mean, the man was exceptionally great. He was a combination of, of uh, Mega Evers, a combination of Martin Luther King, a combination of Malcolm X, a combination of some Fannie Lou Hamer and some Harriet Tubman thrown in there too. Don't All that. Don't forget some Stokely Yeah, some Stokely. Can't forget about Stokely because Stokely was cute, y'all. Y'all don't know. You got to go read Peniel Joseph's book, right? Peniel Joseph talks about Stokely Carmichael, right? He talks about how cute Stokely Carmichael was. That's not Peniel Joseph saying that. Well, I'll honor, to the, elder, well, I'll honor to the elder, I would like to re uh, rephrase and say, Kwame Ture. Kwame Ture, correct. Stokely Carmichael, Kwame Ture. But he was handsome. He was good looking. So, and he was tall. He reminded people of Malcolm. So when you see Shokwe Lumumba, he bring all that with him into city government. All right? And people that don't know about that history and ain't up on that, that pro-black love and what it mean to be African-centered and what it mean to be pan-African and fighting for your people, man, hell, man, they don't know what kind of energy, they don't know what's charging me to be how I is. They don't know what's behind me, how deeply rooted I am and Marcus Garvey and RBG and everything that's about setting our people free. And if you don't understand that and you can't get with that, man, you feel isolated and lonely. That's why you got to have council people. Stamps is one of them, he's not the only one. But they're going to come out to these events. They're going to mingle with the people. They're not going to be afraid of them. They're not trying to get a vote. They out here because they love the people. They ain't afraid of the people. They gonna be like a, it's like a red, black, and green mosh pit where I just jump on in a sea of red, black, and green love. And all my people get that purple power when we rise to the highest of our divinity and we shine just like we supposed to shine. That's what this is about. That's As y'all can see, man, the community is definitely out in full effect. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do. I want to say thank you to the youth. See, because the young folks today, not afraid of dying, yeah. not afraid to go to jail, yeah. not afraid of losing a the job. Right. They believe what they believe in. And that's when change happens. Yep. Change doesn't happen when people who are muffled or mumble or, you know, bow their head and scratch the back of the head when, when folks come around. Yeah. Change happens when people are willing to die for what they believe in. And that's what the youth of the day have. And that's what we need in order to have progress. Right? Every progressive period of, the, of black existence in America has happened when young folks said, you know what, I'm willing to die for what I believe in. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. Right. And that's what these young people have. So first I want to say thank you. But now you have to use that in a focused way like a laser beam. Yeah. Right? Now, and, be, and pick your battles. Don't just fight every battle. Right. Pick your battles. Aim specifically at certain targets you want to hit. Be tactical. After, after doing research and identifying the weakness, you don't hit the strengths, you hit the weaknesses, right? Right. You go for the joints, not the bones, right? All right. So if you're going to attack a man, go for the joints. That's right. right. Right? So now, when you look at the global world of, of white supremacy, black supremacy, uh, capitalism, and you want to see how you're going to move this system to become better, identify the joints and focus your efforts and be specific with your dollar, be specific with your vote, and be specific with your activism. That's right. Hey, what, would, what would you like to tell you? Hey man, look, uh, I can say a lot, but let me reach back to some of my ancestors and my elders. We got to know thyself, to love thyself, to save ourselves. It is difficult near impossible to properly love oneself without a holistically accurate knowledge of self. We must conquer our fear of freedom. Knowledge of self is the key to salvation. And I'll say this, one life, one love, one enemy, one God, one aim, one destiny. My hotel, tell, may we continue to be a blessing to others. All right, Let I appreciate y'all brothers rocking with Speak Your Peace right, TV, brother. man. All right, peace. Peace. Yeah, peace.
remember in one crew been so diverse. I'm trying to outdo the last verse that I birthed, that is my curse. Your night is rhyming, oh, I'm a sentimentalist, slay all grand dragons. Rapper shot was number two, then I'm stabbing. Somebody let me hold a number two, cause I can stay the Somebody let me hold a number two, cause I can stay the